1 Corinthians 9 and 24. Know ye not that they which run in a race run all, but one receiveth the prize? So run that ye may obtain. And every man that striveth for the mastery is temperate in all things. Now they do it to obtain a corruptible crown, but we an incorruptible. I therefore so run, not as uncertainly, so fight I, not as one that beateth the air, but I keep under my body and bring it into subjection, lest that by any means which I have preached to others, I myself should be a castaway. Brakate Yahweh, Brakate Yahushai, Brakate Yahweh, Brakate Yahushai. All praise and glory to Yahweh by Hashem Yahushai, by Hashem Akakwadash. Yahweh been the name of the Heavenly Father who the world calls God. Yahweh Shai been the name of his beloved Son who the world enemy called Jesus Christ. That's their true names and the Lashwan Kudash, the ancient Hebrew. Double honors to the apostles and elders, great Muslim, and blessings and salutations to the hopeful elect. I'm back with another lesson through the spirit and prophet Yahweh by Shemal Shai. And the title I'm going to give this lesson is May We Never Become Castaways. Okay? May We Never Become Castaways. All right, I want to. Um, you know, in this lesson, spotlight that that word in the Greek, castaway, and uh, you know, build upon it. All right, because you know, the castaways are the ones that have, you know, through whatever avenue, fell away from this word. Okay, like the scriptures say, they went from us, so it'd be manifest. Let me just grab it. First John two and nineteen it says. They went out from us, all right, the hopeful elect, but they were not of us. For if they had been of us, they would no doubt have continued with us. But they went out that, that they might be made manifest that they were not all of us, okay? So these castaways, you know, are the men that fell away from their hope in Yahweh Bashim Shai, okay? They let something, you know, veer them off of the path of righteousness, man. Okay, which we hope, you know, that never befalls us, man. You know, like um, King David prayed, you know, take not away from, from me your Holy Spirit. Okay. So, let's go into this word. Once again, this is uh, 1 Corinthians 9, 27. It says, but I keep under my body and bring it into subjection, lest that by any means which... Uh, when I have preached to others, I myself should be a castaway. All right. Now let's dive into this word castaway. Okay. Strong's G96. Adakimas. Adakimas. Okay. It says, not standing the test. Woo. You know, these men that have been cast away. You know, we're not uh, uh, able to stand the test, man. You know, they weren't able to uh, endure. Okay. So it says not standing the test, not approved. You know, the scriptures speak about being found worthy, you know, being acceptable in the sight of the Lord. All right. So not standing the test, not approved. Properly used of metals and coins, right? And the scriptures refer to that, you know, that, uh, let me get it, uh, every man's work shall be revealed. <clears throat> this is, uh, 1 Corinthians 3 and 12. It says, Now, if any man build upon this foundation gold, silver, precious stones, wood, hay stubble every man's work shall be made manifest for the day shall declare it because it shall be revealed by fire and the fire shall try every man's work of what sort it is okay and the fire is the is the trials the test okay and some men are, are are found to be gold which we hope we are okay like job said uh you know when he tried me uh i should be uh found as gold paraphrasing some, you know, some men are wood and stubble, which we know that, uh, you know, gold and silver is purified in the fire, but wood and stubble is burnt up. Okay. So let's go back to the definition. Castaway. 
So it says not standing the test, not approved, properly used of metals and coins, that which does not prove itself such as it ought. Okay? And we know that um, you know, we are in the time of proving ourselves to Yahweh by Shema Shai. Okay? This is uh Sirach six and seven. If thou wouldest get a friend, prove him first and be not hasty to credit him. Okay, so we're in the time of our proving. Okay, these are the proving grounds. You know, uh, 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 you know, fighting that good fight of faith, laying hold on eternal life. You know, uh, uh, you know, while having to function and navigate through the society. You know, having to apply patience. Okay, through the ups and downs. Okay, this is that. Uh, this is the proving grounds, man. So it says that which does not prove itself such as it ought. Okay, and these men, you know, that fell away. They didn't they didn't they gave up on, on, on proving themselves. They gave up in the fight. You know, the scriptures say a just man shall fall seven times and get it back up again, but the wicked shall um you know basically uh, uh fall away. Okay. It says that which does not prove itself such as it ought, unfit for, unproved. Spurious reprobate, okay, unfit for, all right, which makes me think of a scripture, all right, because if you come into this thing and fall away, you are unfit. <clears throat> this is uh Luke 9 and 62, it says, And Yahweh Shah said unto him, No man having put his hand to the plow, all right, begin to partake in this ministry, and looking back. It's fit for the kingdom of the Most High. So that's unfit. You know, if you're looking back, the scriptures say we're not of them that draw back unto perdition, but we believe in the saving of the soul. So there is no drawing back. There is no going back. Okay, but the ones that did, you're going to have those examples. The ones that did uh, uh, were unfit. Okay. Another uh, uh, scripture that comes to my mind. Okay, this is uh, Luke 9 and 23, it says, And he said to them all, If any man will come after me, let him deny himself. All right, now denying yourself is to lose sight of your own interest. Okay, now we're, we're not living for ourselves, we're living for Yahweh, Yahweh Shai. It says, <clears throat> And he said to them all, If any man will come after me, let him deny himself and take up his cross daily and follow me. Okay. So you have to take up your cross daily. The cross representing the afflictions that come with this truth. All right? So we have to endure daily, man. The scriptures say endure hardness as good soldiers. All right? Um, Where's that scripture where it says not worthy? Um, let me see. Not worthy of me. <clears throat> All right, right here we go. Matthew ten and thirty eight, and he that taketh not his cross and followeth after me is not worthy of me. Okay, so these are the men that uh, you know, didn't take up their cross daily, that didn't endure the hardships and the uh, the troubles that come with the truth. Okay, the temptations, the afflictions, the test. <clears throat> So let's go back to it. I believe that was the end of it. But I'll read it again. So it says, to, it says, not standing the test, not approved, properly used of metals and coins, that which does not prove itself, such as it ought, unfit, unproved, spir spurious, reprobate, okay? And the, and the men that fall away are reprobate, man. The scripture says, examine thyself, uh, whether thou be in the faith. Okay, and these men begin to not examine themselves. Okay. <clears throat> and I also have the definition right here of castaway. Okay, it says a person who has been shipwrecked and stranded in an isolated place. Now, of course, we're applying this spiritually. Now, does not the scripture speak of that? 
men that have become shipwrecked according to faith. This is uh, 1 Timothy 1 and 18. <clears throat> it says, This charge I commit unto thee, son Timothy, <clears throat> according to the prophecies which went before on thee, that thou by them mightest war a good warfare. Okay, because we indeed are in a um, spiritual war. Okay, the scriptures speak of arming ourselves. Uh, 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 how does it go? The whole armor of the Most High. You know, put on the whole armor of the Most High. Okay, so that's how we are to fight a good warfare in the faith. It says, holding faith in a good conscience, which some having put away concerning faith have made shipwreck okay so some men have uh, uh you know concerning faith have made been made shipwreck in the faith man they've crashed you know <clears throat> they got devoured their faith has got devoured man and 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 and, and, and be made uh shipwreck man but it said holding a good conscience okay which makes me think of a scripture Alright, because hey, we got a fight, man. Alright, this thing is a fight. This is a uh, Sirach 14 and 2. It says, Blessed is he whose conscience have not condemned him. Okay, and your conscience is not is not gonna condemn you when you're doing what you're supposed to do. Okay, your conscience will begin to eat you up once you uh fall away from uh, uh you know good good works. Okay. So it says, Blessed is he, blessed is he. Whose conscience have not condemned him And who has not fallen from his hope in the Lord You know May we never fall away from our hope in the Lord man Okay The scriptures speak of an evil heart of unbelief You know Hebrews 3 and 12 it says Take heed brethren Lest there be in any of you An evil heart of unbelief in departing from the living power Okay, so that's 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 the evil thing To depart from Yahweh by Shema Shai To take the, the mercy of the Lord for granted To take the sacrifice of Yahweh Shai for granted You know, that's an evil thing You know So, you know, may Yahweh by Shema Shai Continue to have mercy on us And keep us on this righteous path, man You know So I wanted to go here at uh Matthew uh, 13, all right, because one of the definitions for the castaway was uh, not standing the test, okay, and Yahweh Shai spoke, uh, spoke a parable uh, dealing with this, okay, this is uh, Matthew 13 and 1, it says, the same day went Yahweh Shai out of the house and sat by the seaside, and great multitudes were gathered together unto him, so that he went into a ship and sat, and the whole multitude stood on the shore. And he spake many things unto them in parables, saying, Behold, a sower went forth to sow. And when he sowed, some seeds fell by the wayside, and the fowls came and devoured them up. Okay? Which we know the scriptures speak of uh, uh, Satan as a lion, a roaring lion, you know, seeketh whom he, he, could, he may devour. Okay? So it says, Some fell upon stony places where they had not much earth. And forthwith they sprung up Because they had no deepness of earth And remember this is all examples of men in the faith Okay So it says Some fell upon stony places where they had not much earth They weren't, they weren't uh, rooted Okay They weren't established in the faith And forthwith they sprung up Because they had no deepness of earth And when the sun was up They were scorched And because they had no root they withered away okay so this is some some this you know some men uh fit this example okay of not being deeply rooted okay and when they're hit with the trials because that's what the when the sun uh, uh 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 was up and scorched them that represents the fire okay that uh that is proving us in this truth okay so once again it says Matthew 13 and 6 And when the sun was up They were scorched And because they had no root They withered away Okay so let's look at this word Scorched 
Strong's G 2739. Okay. Alright, it stopped playing, I guess. So it says Kamadizo. Kamadizo. However you say that. It says to burn with the heat, right? We're in the fire. To scorch, to be tortured with intense heat. Okay, and the scriptures uh, tell us of this, man. <clears throat> this is uh, Sirach 2 <clears throat> and 5. It says, For gold is tried in the fire, and acceptable men in the furnace of adversity, man. So we're going through that fire. Okay, but like we read earlier, some men are wood. Some men are stubble and they get burned up. Okay, and we're hoping that we're being that we're that gold and we're being purified. We're gonna be made better. Okay, the scriptures say the inward man is renewed day by day. Okay, so we hoping that we're of that we're that we're that gold. Okay. For gold is tried in the fire, and acceptable men in the furnace of adversity. So this is the only way we're gonna become acceptable to the Lord. Alright. There's another one. Let's get uh let's get Isaiah 48. And 10 it says, Behold, I have refined thee, but not with silver. I have chosen thee in the furnace of affliction, man. Okay? So this is this is the path that we're taking in this truth. The only path you can take. You have to go through the fire. Like the scriptures say you have to go through the narrow to get to the broad. Okay, but some some men, okay, uh, you know, keeping the theme of the narrow getting to the broad, hey, they 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 become shipwrecked concerning faith. Okay, they give up on the Lord. Okay, they give up on the mission. Okay, <clears throat> because they're not deeply rooted. Okay, you know, for whatever for that for whatever reason, you know, maybe they get impatient, you know. Or maybe uh, the cares of this life take them out. All right. So once again, dealing with uh, Matthew 13 and 6, it says to burn with heat, to scorch, to be tortured with intense heat. <clears throat> OK, so we're in the fire <clears throat> being in this truth. OK, but what the Yahweh said, he that endureth unto the end, the same shall be saved. OK, so it says. And when the sun was up, they were scorched. And because they had no root, they withered away. All right. Now, let me let me jump down where Yahweh Shai begins to break it down. This is uh, Matthew 13 and 18. It says, Hear ye therefore the parable of the sower. When anyone heareth the word of the kingdom <clears throat> and understandeth it not, <clears throat> then cometh the wicked one, which is Satan, and catch it, catch it, catcheth away that which was sown in his heart. This is he which received seed by the wayside. But he that received seed in the stony places, the same as he that heareth the word and the known with joy receiveth it. Right? They're excited about, you know, the truth that they're hearing, you know. Yet hath he no root in himself. He's not founded it. But in, but do, in, uh, it says, but do it for a while. Okay? And that while could be one year, five years, a few years. 10 years you know and plus you know which is scary man it says yet have he no root in himself but dure for a while for when tribulation or persecution ariseth because of the word you see that tribulation or persecution but the scriptures say through much tribulation <laughs> not a little tribulation through much tribulation shall we enter into the kingdom okay but it says Yet hath he no root in himself, but dure for a while. For when tribulation or persecution ariseth, because of the word, by and by he is offended. Okay? And 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 they, and they become cast away. Alright? But going back to that scripture. <clears throat> you know, uh, what is it? It's 1 Corinthians 9, right? It mentions something. It mentions... 1 Corinthians 9, 27. But I keep under my body and bring it into subjection. All right. We got to have discipline. We got to have temperance. It says lest that by any means when I have preached to others, I myself should be, be a castaway. Okay. 
So preach to others, right? And let's go to uh, Sirach. Sirach 37 Alright this is uh, Sirach 37 And 19 it says There is one that is wise And teacheth many Like like the scripture said <clears throat> You know preach to others You know there is one that is wise And teacheth many You know uh, 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 building brothers up in the faith Edifying And there's men, there's men that, that That I can think of right now You know that I've, I, I've learned from And all of that but they're no longer around. There is one that is wise and teacheth many, and yet is unprofitable to himself. You know, which is scary, man. You're not applying. You're not walking what you're preaching. You're not. You're not uh, uh, applying. You know, uh, uh, the, the scriptures, man. You know, which is scary. You become unprofitable unto yourself. You know, you become a castaway, and that's that's a reprobate, man. You're able to teach others, but yet you're not teaching yourself the same lessons, man. You know, that's, that's hypocrisy. You know, so on and so on, man. So we can't be like that, man. You don't want to be unprofitable to yourself. Okay, like Apostle Kabar always says, you got the first one you got to teach is yourself. Okay? <clears throat> so it says, there is one that is wise and teaches many, and yet is unprofitable to himself. Okay? So yeah, going back to that parable, those men when they uh were being tried, they fell away. You know, they fell away, man. And the scriptures say this, Proverbs twenty four and ten: If thou faint in the day of adversity, thy strength is small, man. Okay, we we don't want to faint. A faint is a lack of faith. So we want to believe, man. No matter what we're going through, man. I remember Apostle Bar said years back. He said, it's easy to believe when everything is going well. The time to believe is when, you know, everything is going wrong, so to speak, you know. When everything looks all bad, that's the time to believe. That's when the Lord really wants to see your faith, man. Okay? So let me end it off with uh, uh, Jude. Let me do Jude. <clears throat> Because I quoted Psalms 51st chapter earlier. Take not away from, uh, take not away from us your Holy Spirit. Okay, but uh let's uh All right, I'm gonna read uh I'm gonna start at twenty. Jude one and twenty says, But ye beloved, building up yourselves on your most holy faith, okay? Praying in the Holy Spirit, keep yourselves in the love of the Most High, looking for the mercy of our Lord Yahweh Shai unto eternal life. Now jumping down, jumping down to 24, it says, Now unto him that is able to keep you from falling and to present you faultless before the presence of his glory with exceeding joy to the only wise power, our Savior, be glory and majesty, dominion and power, both now and ever. Amen. All right, so. Point being, now unto him that is able to keep you from falling. Okay, and who is that? Yahweh by Shema Rashad. You know, so let's fight to remain in the Lord's grace, man. You know, let's fight to, uh, you know, for our crowns, man. Let's endure for Yahweh, Yahweh Shad, you know. And may we never become uh, uh, castaways, man. The scriptures say nothing shall separate us from the love of Yahweh by Shema Rashad, man. Okay, not affliction, not 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 persecution. Okay, so Lord's was edifying, edifying. May we never become castaways, you know. And and, and Lord's will the uh, the point was conveyed, you know, in the spirit, you know. So Lord's was edifying, giving all praise and glory to Yahweh by Shimei Shai by Shimei Kakudash. Till next time, Shalom.